Hi, I'm Ed Zinda, and this is What the Funk. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly generate Go code from your Solidity smart contracts using the ABI Gen tool. First, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe down below. Make sure you hit that notification icon so you're updated whenever I post a new video. Let's get coding. So here I've got this really simple smart contract. It's just a key value store contract that has an event item set that gets triggered anytime you set a new item, a string for the version, a mapping for the keys and values, a constructor to set the version when you deploy it, and this set item methods that takes a key and a value to set uh, keys and values into this items mapping. Now what we want to do is be able to interact with this smart contract using Go. And it's very simple to do because the Go Ethereum library provides a really nifty utility called ABI Gen. And what that does is it will take either pre-compiled Solidity contracts or actually compile the contract itself and then convert that into a usable Go package that you can import into your projects and then interact with that smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. Now let's see how we can do that. So the first thing we want to do is actually install the Go Ethereum library. And we do that with the go get command, like so. And I've already installed this, so I'm not gonna go ahead and install it again. Next, we want to go ahead and compile the ABI Gen tool. First, we need to CD into the Go Ethereum directory, run make. So I've already done this, so it didn't take very long. If you're doing this for the first time, it may take a few minutes. Next, we want to run make dev tools. Now that this is done, I can run the ABI Gen command. And it didn't pass it a contract, so it's complaining, but we know that it's there. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you need the Solidity compiler installed for this to work. So make sure you have that installed before you install the Go Ethereum library. Now we're back into our project directory. We can see that we have the store.sol smart contract. Let's go ahead and compile and create our Go package. The way we do this is ABI gen dash dash SOL for solidity. And we give it the name of the contract. Next, we need to specify a package. In this case, we're just gonna use the main package. And finally, we need to give it an output file. And we're just gonna call it store.go. Let's go back to code. Now we have this auto-generated Go file. It creates a few different things. So it gives you an ABI, the actual binary of the compiled smart contract. And then it also gives you a few helpful functions. So it gives you this deploy store function. And you can actually use that to deploy an instance of the store contract onto the blockchain. Let's take a look at the smart contract again real quick. So we can see we've got some methods, some events, and some public variables. ABI Gen has actually taken those and given us access to them in the store.go file. So let's take a look. So first up is items, and this is a public method that gives us access to that mapping on the contract for the different items. Next is version, which will give us the version that we deployed with. Then we have set item, which will give us access to that set item method. Remember, we had an event called item set. We also get this useful function to watch item set. So it will actually create kind of a subscription that will watch the blockchain for whenever that item set event is emitted. And then you can actually act on that. And that's basically it. You actually get a lot more than what I've gone over here in this video. And in later videos, I'll actually go over how to use these various methods and watch these various events from our smart contracts. 
As always, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. It really helps out the channel. If you have questions or comments, also leave those down below. Make sure to share this with your friends, and I will see you in the next video.